I'm Myron Ferguson. I'm a drywall contractor from Middle Grove, New York. I've been in the drywall business for over 33 years. Um, at this point in my career, I started to really specialize in um, custom drywall jobs, archways, coffered ceilings, anything decorative. And Easy Arch really fits right into my uh, work scope. All right, this is our opening that we're going to install an easy arch in. Or let's say it's an opening for any archway. There are critical things that you need to know when building an arch. The four points of an arch, spring line, rise, height, and width. To install the easy arch, you just bring the arch over to the opening and you fit it in one leg at a time over the 2x4 or 2x6 the opposite leg as well, and push it up into place. And then you need to determine, to make sure that it's level, I measure down from my header to where the arch actual starts. And in this particular case, it was like 10 and a half inches, that's my rise. So then I just installed drywall screws, typically in three places, right at the actual spring line, up into the center, and then the other spring line. So you typically, on these smaller arches especially, just three screws on each side. A larger arch where you might get a little bit of flex in this uh, curved area, you may actually have to put a block of wood or something to help stabilize it a little bit. The easy arch is made of galvanized steel, so it's a nice, solid, strong arch. You can see it's very stable, very solid, and I have this nice flat surface forming the curve of the arch that really is great for attaching drywall to. So once I attach the drywall to this curved part, you can see how it'll just flow across this nice uniformly shaped surface. When cutting around the opening, you can either use a drywall router or a drywall utility saw. Both are using the same method. As each is cutting through the drywall, it is actually following along the edge of the framing. It starts out following along the edge of the wood, then when it hits the easy arch, it just follows right along that edge. And you can just feel a little bit of pressure with the router bit against the metal, and it's the same with a saw. I used, just use very short strokes and just kind of feel, feel it riding against the metal as I go. And the key to not disturbing the drywall paper as you cut it is the cutting is done from the front side. If I were to cut from the back side, particularly with a utility saw, is going to tear up the paper. So it's done with the front side, even though you can't see the arch, and just follow along nice and slowly. The worst thing that will happen is, is you won't cut against the arch, you'll cut down below it, and then you just have to trim it off again later. Sometimes half inch drywall will form around the surface of the arch without scoring the back. And sometimes you may just need to score the back for certain parts of it, like the tighter part of the radius. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to cut in about notches about an inch apart for about a foot in on this piece of drywall. I'm just going to break the drywall along those scored lines. You can buy corner bead already made that will just bend right around any archway. Each, the one edge that needs to actually expand as it goes around the arch, it's got little curves taken out of it. Looks like every half inch or three quarter of, of an inch. When I go to attach this, I actually cut the archway bead so it's a little bit longer than my archway. I like it to come maybe about a foot past where the archway starts, just so I can blend that in a little bit better. The only exception to that would be 
if you were using an eyebrow arch, then you would probably want to stop your uh, flexible corner bead right at that start of the curve. The corner bead that I'm going to put around this archway is held in place with joint compound, just regular all-purpose joint compound. So before I attach the bead, I actually have to put a layer of compound around the drywall which actually is adhesive that holds the flexible corner bead in place. Once I'm confident that that's embedded nice and tight and it's got a pretty nice shape of the arch, now I can go ahead and embed the notch part of the arch, archway bead. I've got that pretty well embedded, but I want to just tweak it a little bit. Don't forget, the joint compound is the adhesive so it's not actually taken a set yet, so there is a little bit of flexibility here yet. So I'm just going to make slight adjustments by eye, and I'm actually going to take a stapler and staple this right, nice and tight right where I want it. Now I have my archway bead pretty much where I want it. Now i got to just put in the other vertical pieces here, which I'm just going to cut and butt up nice and tight. And then I'm just going to check and make sure this is all properly aligned. There you have it. Easy arch. See how easy it is?